Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I'm going to take my glasses off so they don't reflect back. Uh, I'm going to do a reading, but I think what I'm going to do is make a short opinion reading, like right now, make a little video, and then I'll do the reading and just get right into it so you don't have to listen to me blah 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 when I'm reading. Uh, but I really have got to get this out because I had this epiphany while I was watching these really ridiculous let's get Hillary Clinton elected debates. Even my daughter begged me to vote for Hillary Clinton. She's scared of Trump. Guess it's working. Fear-mongering works. That's why they use it. Batterers use it because it works. Keep punching them in the face. Okay, so let's get past that because I had this epiphany of the reason we have a war nation has to do with the Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project, I mean, we were a warring nation before, but we were being forced to peace until we had this. The nuclear industry is at heart a military weapon. The nuclear is a military weapon. It is considered a national secret. They want to have nuclear. They want to keep working it, figuring it out, making it better. If people survive, if people don't go off to war and die, or, you know, like we don't create wars where we kill a bunch of people, or we create a system where we put our veterans, we've had millions of veterans go there, uh, come back and become police officers and train them without adequate psychological help. And it, we now have a situation where they expect us to give them military respect. And if we don't, they treat us like we're the fucking enemy. And they kill people. And they kill people of color based on not racism, but their phobias. It's, it's unreasonable. We have developed a very hardened culture of murder to protect the nuclear industry because we are killing 30,000 people of our own in our own country. God knows millions around the world, really, with all the weapons that we sell. We may not be fighting them directly, but it's our military developing this stuff. Guess what? When people die, they don't get to live a long time. You know what happens when you get exposed to nuclear radiation? You don't die right away. You get sick. You get cancer. You get diabetes. You get lupus. You get schizophrenia. You get uh, all kinds of diseases. And there is not a single study that showed that if you live long enough, when you're exposed to nuclear radiation, you will get something caused by that. Some animals, it takes a long time. Some get sick right away. All of them die. Every one of them died of complications from radiation poisoning. Now, the hard reality is what I've learned is, based on what these mad scientists did at the turn of the, at the middle of the last century, is they pretty much contaminated all of us. St. Louis is just the tip of the iceberg. We have a, they estimate we have 15,000 abandoned mines, uranium mines, on the Navajo land, on the First Nations lands, and on federal government. And frankly, most of them are on the federal government. Excuse me. And that means, and I mean, if you look at our nuclear power plants, the way we do things, it's completely inhumane. We store our nuclear waste right next to it. People die. We just ignore them. The doctors aren't even allowed. Talk about in Japan, they're not allowed. Doctors don't even know. Doctors here do not believe that radiation causes harm. They will tell you, oh, the government says, that's bullshit, as we are finding out. Now, those people on television didn't say one word, oh, we're building clean energy. You know what that means to them? Nuclear. Clinton is nuclear. Trump is nuclear. I mean, we need people to speak out and say this. 15,000 abandoned uranium mines on Native American lands. They're abandoned uranium mines open. Where do you think that uranium is blowing? East to west, folks. I mean, west to east, it's going over the Mississippi and down the Mississippi. And why is Louisiana the cancer epidemic of the world, the armpit of the world right now, like in, the, in America? I mean, right now in Florida, folks, there is a... Big, gigantic sinkhole exposing radiation going down into the drinking water place. Like the, the groundwater, to where the groundwater is in Tampa, Florida. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? I feel kind of sick tonight. As you could tell, last night I wasn't feeling very good. I actually got sick, but tomorrow I'll be better. I'm going to start doing my secret cure. People who have watched me before know what the secret cure is. <laughs> Nobody really likes it, but guess what? It really does work. So I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. And uh, I say put your courage feet on. And honestly, you know, my daughter actually begged me to vote for Hillary Clinton. I am dumbfounded by that. I just can't get over it. Like, honestly, she's scared to death of Trump. Me too, actually, to be honest. I'm scared of them all, like, for God's sakes. Either one of them is like, the, the the options are horrendous. It's all exactly the same people. But, I mean, Pence scares them out of me. Pence is, like, worse than the worst. I have no respect for him. He's already infected my life. Like, no. No, I mean, he will use the long arm of intimidation to harm anybody he wants. His office falsely reported me as threatening to murder their staff. It was investigated and proved to be false. And nothing happened to them. And now he's going to be vice president. You think he's going to be a good vice president? Yeah, if you think Brenner is a good CIA director, and you think Clapper's a good NSA director, the guy who fucking lied right in front of Congress, if that's the kind of government you want, get them all! Get them all! I actually am beginning to think, fuck it, I'm not going to vote. I mean, Richard, you are right. Richard McKenna said, he started laughing at me about six months ago. You are hilarious, Lonnie. You think your little vote is going to count. No, I actually don't. I actually think that this was a elect Hillary Clinton night. And that's what it, we're going to see. And uh, they're just, you know, they have her double in place. So even if she does croak, or maybe she's already not even there. Who knows who that lady was? I mean, for God's sakes, it's insanity what goes on in our country. I mean, really, when is Henry Kissinger going to die? I mean, he's fucking older than God. He was old when I was young. And I'm 60. Like, God, he looked ancient then. He looks ancient now. He's just a bag of guts and bones. Yeah. I mean, you know what it is? The rich people can keep pickling themselves and keep going. <laughs> Anyways, um, look, we need everyone to take action. We really, this is, this shit's getting serious. 15,000 abandoned uranium mines. My mind is fucking spinning thinking about this. And the Navajo Nation... They went to D.C. I saw them. I had no idea at the time. I honestly, every time I can honestly say I can just, my dumbassery, like, uh, it's these come to Jesus moments. I apologize. Like, I really, it's my Catholic guilt. <laughs> you know, once you're a Catholic, they're always a Catholic. Uh I honestly am dumbfounded at discovering this whole idea because if we kill people, they don't live long enough to dis to say that they have been affected by nuclear pollution. So they don't have to keep talking about it. This is the only study I ever found that's actually, it has, listen to what this just said. Oh, I, I tried to do this before and it got, I started talking too long, so then I had to cut the video, but... This article, the first thing it says, it has never been empirically tested. Wait till you hear this. This is so outrageous, folks. Who would have believed it? It's never been empirically tested. They never even looked at what they said was true or not. This is our world. And when we look at it, this is why they're scared of us, because they're afraid of the pitchforks. But I say we need to walk in peace. We need to say, okay, this is where we're at. I mean, just stop the fucking abuse. That's all there is to it. We don't have a, an abused country place to go to. We're it. We have got to stop them. And you know what? I did that with my own mother. My mother used to beat the fuck, excuse me, she used to really like, I mean, my dad beat the crap out of all my sisters. He never hurt me, ever. But you know what? My mother made up for it. <laughs> And you know what I decided when I was like 12? Like my mom was, I'm 5'3", five, 5'4", five, my mom's 5 feet. So like I was like, this is ridiculous. So I just grabbed her arms and said no. And no, you're not, she was spitting nails when I just grabbed her arms and said, you're not going to hit me anymore, period. You're, it's not going to happen, mom. <laughs> like I'm stronger than you. Sorry. <laughs> so 
that was the first time I really stuck up for myself, but this is exactly what we need to do. Do you guys want this? Peace on Earth? I do. I want that. And we have a natural right for it. Peace on Earth. We have a right to it, not just at fucking Christmas time. Look at this little baby. And Deb reminded me that baby probably is dead. Look at its cheeks. It probably died within the first year. And they probably scrubbed him from the rolls and said, oh, he didn't. Oh, he died from the stress of moving. That's what he died from. Not from radiation. You died from the stress of moving. You died from the stress of thinking about radiation. Well, I'm done listening to this bullshit. I'm going to go stop here. I'm going to go read this. And I hope that I am motivating people to do something. And, Deb, I really want to do that song together. I've been practicing it. So we need more participation, folks. There's a handful of us. We need more and more and more and more. Please get active in your own. Make videos. If that's what you want to do, make videos. Make your voice heard. Get together or go to, out on the street. Mike Bunch goes out on the street in his little town. I think he's in Ohio. We need people out in the street. We need people to protest. We need people to speak about it and talk about it and say, you know what? Enough of the Manhattan Project. World War II has to end. We have to look at the mess we've created and figure out solutions. Period. Nothing else matters or we will not have a future. So that's my message. <laughs> Put your courage feet on you guys because guess what? You certainly need them with that little order. <laughs> Ciao.